plan is to hike this 105 mile high route loop through the northern Wind River Range in 10 days. The winds are home to some of the finest hiking anywhere in the U.S. Hundreds of high alpine lakes, streams and rivers crisscross this jagged and pointy landscape, all fed, carved and created by the highest concentration of glaciers in the American Rockies. We also experience some wicked bushwhacking along some off-trail segments. run into an old friend through hiking the CDT. Guess I'm gonna have to hike the rest of the day with this guy. You can do what you want, man. <laughs> hike your own hike. And experience nothing short of one of the best backpacking adventures of our lives. My friend Katie joins me for this ambitious adventure, which begins for us at the Trail Lake Trailhead in August, 2021. Things don't quite go as planned for us and we only manage seven of our planned 10 days. This seven part series documents our adventure as it unfolds. Ready? Ready to win. Okay. All right, here we go. 10 days in the winds, 100 mile loop. Got 10 days of food this time instead of seven. We're off to a good start. My favorite place ever. Oh yeah. Found some raspberries. Sure did. Oh yeah. The trail climbs steeply above Glacier Trailhead as we enter the Fitzpatrick Wilderness. We're headed for Ross Lakes today, with about 3,000 feet of elevation gain standing in the way. We're up over 10,000 feet now as we hike around the south side of Whiskey Mountain. Nice little waterfall coming out of Lake Lake Louise, I believe it is. And then uh, up there, right under that snow field, is Ross Lakes, and that's the drainage we're shooting for. making the descent down to Ross Lakes right now. And we're working our way down to Ross Lakes. Just worked our way down some steep switchbacks. And there's our first view of Ross Lake. Now we need to work our way around this lake, Ross Lake, and then around the upper Ross Lake. Well, it doesn't take long for the Wind River Range to impress. Excellent scenery on day one, pretty much no lead up, just right into the good stuff. So this is Ross Lake. It's one of two lakes, there's an upper lake. We're working our way around this one. It's pretty massive. It's going to take some time. There's a little bit of a path that follows the uh, the shoreline. It does look like it goes down. It's almost like intentional. No, I'm with you. I think it's intentional. Whoa! Watch your head. 
right here and that caught me off guard. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I came around that corner and I had this visor so I didn't have my person of visor. I may have spoken too soon about there being a good path. Look, Karen, let's be on the right path. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, there's the outlet. Good flow to that waterfall. Yeah, think like a goat. I'm scared. You got this. Your goat. I'll just zigzag your way down. I'm thinking this crack right here is looking pretty good just to get your way down to this lower ledge. Now this doesn't look as good as it did from above. This this part looks looks basically like a cliff, but it looks like a cliff at tree line. This whole thing is pretty much not ideal. Not ideal for hiking. I have an idea. So what you're saying is work work your way down this kind of diagonally down to that and then down that, huh? I like it. Let's do it. It's scary. It looks scary, but uh, that's the best thing I've seen so far. I you see it though. I see a good line. It's a little bit of a leap of faith there almost to get across that. You got this. Uh, you got this. Take your time. Just remember three points of contact and you'll be alright. Just you know, find your next footing. Okay. So we just lowered my backpack down and I'm going back up to get Katie's. You got this, Billy Goat. I'm a goat now. Yep, you're a goat now. Goat mode. Okay, so. I like that. Across the outlet here of Ross Lake. You've got this super sketchy log crossing here over some pretty, pretty gnarly rapids they lead right into this log jam. It's pretty much just a funnel of death if you were to fall into that. Well, now it's time to walk the plank. Shaky, shaky. I know it looks scary, but it was very stable.
here's our campsite along Lower Ross Lake on night one. Stay tuned for episode two of seven, a beautiful hike up West Torrey Creek to Upper Ross Lake, mile-long lake, and make camp below the massive Continental Glacier. <laughs>